Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start with the facts. One in five Canadians will personally experience a mental illness in their lifetime. One percent of the Canadian population is schizophrenic, and another percent will experience bipolar disorder. Now, there are many ways to die. You could die of old age, die of cancer, die of murder, die of obesity, but the leading cause of death in young children uh, next to accidents is suicide. Every 30 seconds, someone in this world takes their own life. Almost half the people who are depressed never get the proper treatment because of the discrimination and stigma surrounding mental illness, but it's the same as any other illness. No one has a problem saying they have a disappointment at two, so why can't you tell your friends that you're missing fourth period because you have to see a psychiatrist? Mental health should be treated exactly the same as dental health. When you break your arm, everyone runs over to sign your cast. But if you tell people you're depressed, people will run the other way. Why is it that every other organ in your body can elicit sympathy and support except the brain? People who are depressed learn to pretend. They live two completely different lives. There is the public life that everyone knows of the happy kid who's always on the honor roll, participating in all the school activities, making a difference in the community. Then there's a life that no one but the good knows. The life where they live in the shadows and cry themselves to sleep. The life where they, their world is always at war. Where they feel the blade on their wrists, their thighs, their ankles, their stomachs, fantasizing about their suicide, pens and shaking hands, writing their goodbyes. It's hard to understand what it takes to force your fingers down your throat and the courage it takes to drag a blade across your skin. People tell you to stay strong, but how can you hold your ground when all you want is to be buried six feet beneath it? Depression is more than sadness over bad marks and broken relationships. We all have our ups and downs. It's normal to feel sad after something bad happens. Depression feels like you're lost, even on a straight path towards success. Anxiety feels like the bed has grown arms and is holding you a hostage inside of your own room, inside of your own head. It's hard to fight off the demons if they're the only ones there when you're alone. Anorexia is not a trend. OCD is not an adjective. Self-harm is not poetic. Mental illness is not fishing for attention. It's wishing you were never born and thinking your life is nothing but a burden. It's being tired of faking smiles. It's the light at, at, the, light at the end of the, the tunnel, except the lights are the headlights of a train. It's blowing out your birthday candles, wishing you could die. It's sitting in your bed at three in the morning Worrying about the future you don't even want to have. It's finally applying trigonometry to real life by calculating how fast over a cliff the x feet in height to attain the proper distance to make sure you end up dead for real. It's feeling numb, feeling nothing and everything at the same time and not knowing which is worse. It's when you're the eye of the storm of thousands of people cheering you on but you still feel lonely. It's when people who don't understand tell you just get over it. <laughs> Telling someone with social anxiety to go to parties does not solve the problem. Telling someone with depression that they have no reason to be depressed is like telling someone with asthma that there's plenty of air in the room. Why don't you breathe it? Depression is not something you can remedy with the contents of a first aid kit. It's when you feel pride when your stomach feels like a bottomless pit because you haven't eaten a proper meal in three days. Anorexia is wanting with all your heart to eat everything put in front of you, but not being able to because you're so terrified of gaining weight. Scared of being called ugly, fat, never being satisfied with the numbers on the scale because 68 pounds is just too much. You grow up believing the voices telling you that you're weak. But as Johnny Depp said, people cry not because they're weak, but because they've been strong for too long. Whether we're personally affected or it's someone we know, whether it's genetic or situational, we all have to face mental illness. It's unavoidable, but there are some things that can be done to help. For example, the kids' health phone is a free, anonymous, 24-7 online and phone counseling service with an aim to be there when others can't. It provides support, referrals, and information about not only mental health, but also about bullying, family issues, addictions, friendships, and more. Although, yes, mental illness is a personal internal struggle, but the lack of support only amplifies the isolation of their anxieties and depressions. It's crucial that we work to dispel the stigma. 
it lurks like a dark, overpowering shadow over those affected and their relationships. And it's our duty as a loving, caring society to rid the world of the stigma around mental illness and shine light on the shadows. And it all starts with you. Thank you.